Hello everyone, welcome to the Olympic Esports Week tournaments and we are here in Singapore. It's June 22nd and all this event is going to start with the opening ceremony in about an hour. But uh, before that, we actually have uh, the esports tournament. Before we go there, we have the Olympic uh, Bridge Esports uh, here on Fun Bridge. The qualification is over and we can just quickly have a look on uh, the top players. I managed to play five uh, really nice tournaments with an average over 70%, but we have uh, Tomek with 79, but 21 tournaments played, and Rui Pinto and Cordova here. So top three players, but anyway, all the qualification was about to make 55% to get the, to the finals, which will be played from Friday to Sunday. Congratulations if you made it, and good luck for the final tournaments. Okay, so let's uh, play here the Federation tournaments with Fun Bridge points, and you see that uh, during uh, this Olympic Esports Week we will have the live stream what's happening uh, here. Right now we have uh, both presidents uh, now Jose Damiani looking at uh, the game here, he already played and we have Jan Kamras, the actual president of the WBF uh, here uh, watching and uh, playing with us as well. Okay, so this is 10 boards, him scoring and we start with partner opening one diamond and two no trumps on our right, I guess showing clubs and hearts. So we have five hearts behind. So this is a big misfit in a major. Barton doesn't have a five card major, so we can expect West to have five spades. And therefore, I don't want to intervene. Although over three clubs, I might actually fight with three diamonds. But with two suitors, if one suit splits badly, we actually know that uh, there will be less tricks than normally. Okay, I had to adjust uh, another camera here, so you get me also uh, there, and the decision is here to let them play free clubs or overcall in diamonds. And to be honest, I'm not sure if we have a fit or not, so I'm going to pass here, and we will defend free clubs. Trump lead would definitely the, be the best. But we see 6, 5 and 7 playing tricks in dummy. This is incredible. Anyway, still I would like partner to play the trumps so I can collect as many hearts as possible. And here we go. Partner actually returned the queen of hearts. So let's see if the 9 drops. Anyway, I have all the hearts behind. Partner probably have the doubleton. Declare is drawing the trumps, so this contract, I believe, at some point might be over. Uh, we don't need to jump with the king. Because Declare will try, I guess, now to cross rough, but why did he draw one round of trumps? So let's see. Okay, so this is good. So I can play one more round of trumps. And who has the last trump? Oh, partner does. So that's wonderful. So now I can exit with the king of spades, collect hopefully two hard tricks and beat the contract for a plus score. No. Okay, so Declare failed to rough the trick and I missed one trick to catch the King of Spades. If I just played the diamond through, I missed an imp here. Luckily this is not match points, but C partner has 6, 4, 2, 1. So actually in three diamonds we lose a heart, two club tricks, two spade tricks and a rough. So the benefit would not be like that high. See that four imps actually here by passing out because a couple of players tried to fight for a part score and they were doubled for five or eight hundred opposite basically nothing, 110 or 130 for opponents. 
just in the M tournament is not uh, that much. Okay, 10 high card points, balanced, right hand opponent opens one spade, so we will be defending again, that's almost certain, because West showed forcing to game hand, with 5 diamonds and a spade fit right now. So, do we have a chance to beat the contract? Both diamond owners are in front of a 5 card, if Declare has only doubleton, they will establish the hearts, so my goal is actually to cash the tricks, so I will lead the Ace of Hearts. So let's see. Dummy goes down with the King. It's not very helpful. Declare can draw the trumps and potentially establish the diamonds. So what to do now? See that guys here are trying to think uh, opposite there as well. Um, but let's see. I'm not sure if I actually want to play the diamond here or try to establish the club. I think I'm going to establish a club if partner has the king. And if not, we just cash what's ours. Ace and a four returns. Looks like a doubleton. Unfortunately, I don't have a quick entry. Unless, Declare will try to finesse the spade owner. So I'll definitely unblock with the queen of spades under the ace and if Declare tries actually here to finesse the jack of spades I can give partner rough no he didn't that's a pity so I guess there will be no issues for Declare right now and the game is kind of over oh Okay, it is over. So the Ace of Hearts was not the luckiest uh, lead, but anyway, um, I could do better not to play the club, but Declare has the diamond discards, so he will just lose two aces and a spade trick. This is supposed to be an average, so zero, but let's see what people will find out. 11 players out of close to 100 managed to beat the contract so that was the jackpot but that's a misplay from Arjun because there is 10 tricks from top so yeah let's hope that Arjun will back up us later on 17 high card points balanced yeah and Actually a very good point here from Jin, what I can hear opposite, that if Declare tried the safety play to finesse actually the spade in the second round, I will win with the jack and give partner a club rough. So that's probably what could happen. Here partner is transferring with two diamonds and opponents overcall with two spades. I've got two spade tricks, two aces, that's four. Queen of hearts if it is behind, plus the king of clubs. I would love to double for penalties here. That's business. And if you are vulnerable, let's go for the business. Okay, partner passed out. That's fine. Yet, we still need to beat it. And the best chance actually here is to draw the trumps. So let's see what will dummy come down. Singleton spade and absolutely no values. So now, east so far will probably have minimum five or six spades only two hearts which will still leave him with five or six cards in the other suits so right now we will know what's happening okay so declare has six cards partner discarded the eight of clubs uh, which is his lowest card Anyway, I definitely want to unblock here with the Trump because I'm kind of end played from the beginning. And we know about six, potentially eight cards in East hands. And we've got two aces. And right now, there is a chance to unblock the hearts if partner has the king of hearts. Uh, but I'm not sure there. We might, we might ask the audience. So guys, what's, what would be your return right now?
Which suit will you escape in? See, I never have this at home that I cannot ask, ask the audience about their opinion. Because for me, uh, yeah, all three suits might be okay. But since Spartan discarded a club and he has five hearts, he must have clubs as well. So my preference is actually to play a club here. Okay, this is perfect. Partner now might play the heart for me or the diamonds. Yeah, so now let's see. Okay, partner has the king. And I can exit with the king of clubs and get the final distribution. So East actually started with six spades, two hearts, one club and four diamonds. So right now I can actually duck even a low one to collect three diamond tricks. Hopefully partner has queen. No, he's got the king, so we are all set. And three down. Wow. Now four down actually for 1100. Wow. Okay. This is unexpected. See, that's why doubling for business pays off. Even on the second level, you don't intervene if your hand is not good enough. So let's see what's the final score here. Plus nine, 25 players uh, see that the def defense here is very different. 12 players beat it only twice for minus six sims and 14 players collected 800. Three no trumps, which is absolutely a reasonable contract, still loses two or three imps. So we're good to go. 10 imps. And let's continue. 17 high card points, three diamonds opening. We've got an unbalanced hand, 6-4 in majors, four theoretical losers, so four missing owners. This hand might definitely be very easy to reach a slam here. So if I double, I might risk that partner jumps to five clubs, but normally uh, you don't do that. So I will actually go for a double here and yeah, and bid five spades actually here. Because right now the jump to five clubs should show values. And now we are in troubles, guys. Now we are in deep troubles. So I expected that, but I didn't expect the six club bid and the double. Well, right now I have options either to trust partner that he has solid clubs or try to play no trumps, which will probably not be better. Let's see if we get, we are not doubled. There is a chance. Let's see. Okay, well, that's a solid suit. That's definitely a very solid suit, but I need to get rid of the diamonds here. So let's see if I manage that. The diamond lead is a killing lead, unfortunately. So my only chance is actually to hope that the spades break. With four and a six, they might split five one. Yeah, but um, if they split three three, it's probably okay to rough with the ten now. Because if East, yeah, well, if they are going to rub the second round of diamonds, um, I'm in troubles. But if spades do not split, then clubs probably split. It's so sad they, they let the diamond here. Okay. So East doubled. Why did he double? I believe that he doubled because uh, he has five spades. Oh, A is over rough. And down one. Five clubs made, six clubs not. And game over. So how about the clubs? I guess that now they split. And I can claim the rest. Unfortunately, one trick short. 
and this will cost a lot of imps. Spades do not split, hearts do not split, and I cannot get rid of the diamond there. Yeah. I don't know, well, if I bid four free spades directly, what would partner do actually? Four spades loses a club and three spade tricks, so, <coughs> and a diamond. So four spades go down two, while six clubs goes down only one. So let's see, this might at the end be still around average. <laughs> plus two, wow, six clubs plus two. Unbelievable. See that some players even try to save up uh, and bid on to seven clubs. Wow, what a hand. I would not expect this to be a plus score. Okay, let's go. Uh, board number five, 15 high card points. Balanced, yet uh, I will try to find the hard fit here. And since partner didn't show a fed, we might end up playing um, no trumps. But partner showed some extra. A jump to three clubs is standardly a hand around five to six losers, depending on the quality of honors. I have two aces plus the queen of clubs, so three key cards and few possible finesses options. So I believe that the slam will be based on a finesse. Yet, do you want to try an imps? We might just lose two hearts from top as well. I'm going to set up and stay just only in free no trumps. Am I a coward? Let's see, ace, doubleton, so no diamond loser, hopefully no club loser. We will actually lose a spade if they lead it through the ace jack. And if they lead it, I would need to get uh, the hard finesse there. So six no trumps from my side is actually the best contract here. Partner had nice 16 counts. Okay, do I want to play the finesse? I think there is a slight chance that I might squeeze them up later on. Okay. So six clubs, probably not making if they get a rough. Six no trumps is an easy, easy contract there. Spades behind, so spades through, hard through, six clubs not making. So let's see what will be just Making 12 tricks in no trumps. Plus six. Woohoohoo! Okay, that's a good start. Great first half of the tournament, and we have five more boards to go. So one spade pass, two spades, and we have a two five card red suits here. Everybody's vulnerable, so I would love actually to compete here on third level. Uh, but I believe that two no trumps will show minors here for Arjun. So we don't have we don't have a good bid here. Six theoretical losers. If we are pushed actually to sacrifice over four spades, which might not even be a good sacrifice since we have three potential honor tricks, then we might be in troubles. And while this might be a very interesting match point board and imps, uh, since partner is a past hand, I will actually stay low here and not to risk a big minus because we had already a great start. And after invitation, I think we are good to go. Try to call it five tricks and get a plus score. Okay, six of hearts, we don't see the five. So partner either has a doubleton or actually four hearts. We will find out very soon. So we just take it with the ace of hearts. And I don't know if you hear from the background, but the opening ceremony is coming up soon. But from the jack of hearts dropping, actually, we know about the doubleton spade with West. Uh, the heart finesse is on. 
and partner with Singleton Diamond would actually lead a diamond. Yet, I'm not like very confident um, here to just to passively return a hard. Playing a club will just show what we have. Partner will probably have two honors. And if that's the king of diamonds, I think a diamond switch actually might be a good one here. So if you are not sure, ask, ask the audience here. So gentlemen, what are your thoughts? Okay, so we've got here a, lo a low spade back. Um, that's kind of a passive play here as well. And can that beat the contract? I believe that if we play a spade and the finesse is on, partner has only a doubleton that will not probably uh, create the troubles. So I think the only way how we might beat the contract, and that's my personal guess, so we will see, is try to find partner with the king of diamonds and promote actually a trump trick. Partner might have doubleton jack. If he has doubleton queen, we might score two tricks. 6422, two, so I'm actually going to play a diamond here. Okay, good start. Oh, but no diamond back. That's a pity. That's a pity. Oh, wow. Okay, so now we hit the jackpot. We unblock the suit, and now I can promote partner's trump. Here we go, managed to get the rough and beat the contract. We still have a chance that partner has actually doubleton queen of spades originally, so we might even score one more spade trick here. Nope, partner had two, so unblocking the diamond king was probably essential because at some point we will be end played, actually north will be end played. So if we return the spade, declare will finesse and exit, catch the heart and exit with the diamond, and partner will either need to play to double finesse or unlead his king of clubs. So unblocking the king of clubs and giving partner the luxury to escape with the heart was good. Declare was scared to play a club, so he voluntarily gave us the promotion in trumps. Okay, I take it. So let's see what's the hundred. Plus one imp only, 27 players actually reached four hearts here. See that we can make only nine tricks in hearts. So there were defensive errors, but many players actually bid here hearts. So let's see what happened. So if you bid three hearts, partner raises to four, and now they need to find a club trick and a spade back. They lead a diamond, and now you have the tempo to discard the spade and probably cross off the hand later on. Oh, wow. Even by playing this too, still opponents can beat the contract. I mean, okay. So this is where Arjun sometimes misdefends. So I'm quite happy that um, I just... M plus one imp on this board, which could go sideways for minus five or plus 11. Sometimes it's good to end up uh, equal and collect the imps on the board. For example, like this hand. Okay, four theoretical losers, and you have nine playing tricks with stoppers. So this is definitely an interesting approach how to go here. And for me, I'll actually open two diamonds here. I prefer to play from my doubleton queen because right now I could have found out if partner has some aces. Okay, so two diamonds in the setup is forcing to game here. So with four hearts, we can expect an honor. That's a forcing bid. So I believe that if I bid five diamonds here, 
partner will know my hand and potentially with two honor tricks I actually need three honor tricks to make a slam so let's hope that partner is in all his sands and with three honors he will bid a slam five diamonds might go go down oh he really has all the cards there when I showed the game forcing hand with the opening okay six hearts six diamonds should be probably easy to make. So let's see if somebody has a void. Am I lucky? No, no void. So six diamonds, six hearts, an easy contract on uh, this crazy hand with all the tricks. Two diamonds was game forcing and basically asking for aces. So, that's, um, I mean, if you already show like 10 tricks and partner has an ace and king, queen, jack, I believe uh, we should end up, end up in the slam if you just bid strong like that. Minus six, so six hearts. Uh, after one diamond, you get a three hearts forcing, five diamonds, five hearts. So this way, this way you can actually um, get it out. Okay, very interesting approach here by Arjun. Okay, three, three boards to go. Ten boards, balanced, less pass and weight. Okay, here we go. So we are just defending here. Okay, three clubs here and nobody but spades from the defenders. We can expect nine tricks actually, sorry, nine cards in red suits with West. And therefore, I think leading a trump here might be the right thing to do. Because um, Declare will probably try to rough his losers or discard them. Diamonds and hearts are not splitting, so I'm going to lead a trump here. Okay, I didn't prevent it any roughs, though depending who has who has the king of spades. We will see. So it's quite hard guys to concentrate here uh, because uh, there are discussions in front of the screens because they can actually see uh, the boards and how, how I play. So very interesting. Okay, so there should be no entries for the established hearts, so I can just prevent them. And right now I might even get the overruff. Okay. Trick number three. So Declare had two diamonds, same as me. He had two hearts, so if he has six clubs he will have three spades. If I exit with the heart, it's not good enough. Partner still might have two trumps. And it all depends who has actually the king of spades. So East didn't have any points in diamonds, any points in hearts, ace, queen and clubs. So he might still have the king of spades actually for this bidding. Therefore, I can passively exit and would I be squeezed actually in hearts and spades? Maybe. I don't think I can get into partner's hand. So suddenly I regret the trump lead. Orton is a past hand. He had Queen of Hearts, King Queen in Diamonds, so he can still have the King of Spades. And 
and we need to beat the contract. One over trick is not enough, so I will actually play the nine of spades here. Okay, come on and give me the promotion, please. No! Okay, anyway, we're going to get a spade trick. So no worries, contracts is down. And so uh, we will be ready there to get to the opening ceremony. Okay, so let's uh, finish up. Pity that partner didn't play the diamonds and give me one more promotion. Anyway, uh, I get a plus score, so I'm happy. Plus two Ims, plus 17, two boards to go. Nineteen high card points and two, four, five, six potential owners. Wow, so let's see if we can reach a slam on this hand. And here we go. Hard fit. So do we do we get is does partner have the diamond control? I think I'm going to bid via four no trumps. Five hearts, two key cards. If Barton has the king of spades, we can actually make a grand here. I might dump a club. Okay, 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I'm going to ask for kings. And partner has one. So I believe it might be the king of spades. If it is the king of diamonds, I might actually not need spades at all, and I'm, or I might just play the finesse. So let's try to uh, hit the grand here. That's why we are here at the Olympic Esports Week. Okay, partner had King Jack, so now it's all about drawing the trumps. Oh wait, I need to discard actually three diamonds on the spades. Yet it's still about drawing the trumps, I need them to split. If they split 4-1, we are in troubles. Okay, so let's see. Okay, they split. Now spades at least 4-2, and we are home with a grand. Although this is non-vulnerable, this can bring 8 to 10 Ms, depending how many people reaches the Grand Slam. Moment of truth. But the 5 and 8 is very promising, so all is good. I will discard all three diamonds and rough a club and the diamond in the other hand. Okay, making grand, one board to go and plus 12, wow, non-vulnerable. So people do not even reach a small slam, so that's why this is more than a full gain of 10, 11, actually 11 Ms if you play a non-vulnerable small compared to a Grand Slam. 29 Ms, I definitely missed some swings, but he had one more board to go, so let's see. 16 high current points, semi-balanced hand, but if I open a club, partner bit is a spade, I bit two hearts. I want to declare from my side, so I'm going to open one of Trump with this hand. Wow. Okay, so now definitely I want to super accept. Two doubletons, five honor tricks. Let's go to one more slam. I have nuts and partner is inviting me to a slam. Two key cards without the queen. Okay, so this is an easy job. We have so many options actually here. So it will be based on a drop in hearts. Now I can actually dump the spade, so another Grand Slam possible to make if hearts actually splits. Let's unblock the Ace of Clubs because there are hardly roughing me the club okay hearts do not split so I'm super happy I'm not in a grand slam 
and 12 tricks vulnerable will definitely bring some more M's. So let's see what that would be in the final ranking. It's just, okay, I have to lose a trump. I will rough the diamond later on. So, oops. Some internet issues, but we are back. And we can finish the last board. Right now we should be able to claim. And I believe we collect eight M's. Nine, even more, and plus 37 on 10 boards. That's an incredible result. Yet still only eighth place. And Timur with plus 63 M's. Wow, so that's hitting three more jackpots here, actually. One was there possible to play in four hearts. Yoram with plus 47, Frank Hu and Marad. Let's see the friends list. What do we get here? Only Yoram beat me there and um, others as well. But I'm pretty sure that more players will join later on and this tournament uh, will end up hopefully with over 300 uh, players and if you are not sure if to join or not then uh, definitely uh, please do because we have more uh, things uh, to do later on we will have a program which I can just uh, show you right now so see that uh, Friday uh, the timing might still uh, change but we will definitely stream on Farmbridge YouTube channel the whole weekend so look what's happening here uh, you can see the screens there and um, I'm really pretty much looking forward uh, to see you guys there within the tournaments and of course the final of the Olympics so enjoy and good luck playing